Hi, I'm Dr. Luis Macias. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon in Marina del Rey, California at Aesthetic MDR. And we're gonna discuss the five things you should ask at your breast augmentation consultation. Whether your plastic surgeon is board certified. Make sure your surgeon is board certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery. Many surgeons will say they're board certified physicians or board certified surgeons or board certified by the American Board of Cosmetic Surgery, all of which isn't the American Board of Plastic Surgery. So do your homework, look at the websites. Uh, the American Board of Medical Specialties is a great website to see what board they're actually board certified by. Am I a good candidate for breast augmentation? After discussion with your board certified plastic surgeon about your past medical history and your goals, a physical examination will help decide which procedure is best for you to achieve your breast augmentation goals. What are the breast augmentation options? The most common options are to perform breast augmentation with either fat grafting or implants or a combination of implants and fat grafting known as a composite breast augmentation. How long will the breast augmentation last? If your breast augmentation is performed with implants, there's a misconception out there that the implants only last 10 years. That's a misconception. The implants do have a higher rupture rate after 10 years, but the FDA and most plastic surgeons suggest that if you don't have problems with your implants, your MRI shows that they're not ruptured, and you're happy with the results, keep your implants as long as you can. Some people are getting 15, 20 years out of these newer fifth generation gummy bear implants. What are the possible complications with breast augmentation? Have a discussion with your plastic surgeon about the possible complications with breast augmentation. The most common complication of breast augmentation is something called capsular contracture. That's a hardening of the capsule that is formed around the breast implant. Anytime a foreign body is placed into a person, that being a pacemaker, a knee, or what have you, your body will form a shell around it to separate it from you. And most of the time it's nice and soft, but every now and then it starts to thicken and contract and that's the the capsular contractor, and that is the number one most common complication of breast augmentation.